Hello everyone, George Packard Family Lawn and Landscape. Got this question quite a bit in the last couple of months. Finally found the time to do a little video about it. And basically, there's a lot of guys that are asking me, a lot of new guys out there that are asking, when should you get your first employee? When should you hire your first employee? So I'm gonna tell you this. Right from the beginning, I'm just gonna tell you how I did it. You do it any way you want, but just think about everything I tell you first, okay? First off, um, I worked a regular job, just like a lot of people do when they start out on this. Um, I was working for the Kmart store, and I would work 40 hours a week for them, and then I would do the lawn mowing on the e in the evenings and then on the weekends, okay? Then, as I picked up more and more jobs, eventually my wife had to help me uh, in the evenings and on the weekends, because she also worked a full-time job. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then after that, it got to the point where we picked up more and more lawns, and so our kids started to help us with those also. So we basically utilized every piece of help we could get. Even my father helped me from time to time. My brother helped me from time to time, especially if I got behind. Um, but the thing is, as you start building your business, you'll notice, I mean, I wanted to do everything I could by myself because obviously you're going to make more money in your mind you're making more money because you know hey i don't have to pay anybody because you know all that money is 100 percent for me so uh, i've come to think differently about that as time has gone on so i'm going to get to that right in the end so first off like i said you, you hire them as you go as you cannot do it anymore when when i couldn't do them on the evenings i would do it on weekends when i couldn't do it on the evenings and the weekends and i brought in everyone i could think of to help me then it was time to hire a part-timer Okay, so I still did what I could do, and then I hired the part-timer to do what, what they could do. Then, after that, I ended up hiring a full-timer, okay? So a full-time guy, put him in the truck, and just had him out doing this stuff while I was working. So, turns out, believe it or not, and you guys will come to find this, you're going to make more money if you get these people in quicker. Um, and I know it sounds crazy to say that, but I'm telling you guys, uh, in hindsight, it would have left me so much more time to build my business. I lost out on a lot of opportunities to grow my business simply because I was too busy working in the business to go out and work on the business. Okay? I hope, think about that. That's what I want you to think about. Because I'm telling you, if I stay in the truck all the time, I have no time to grow my business. If I can't grow my business, I'll never get bigger. And eventually, I mean, my back's going to go, my knees are going to go, something's going to happen, and I'm going to be out of commission, okay? I've always preached this about the difference between being a solo guy and a guy that wants to get bigger in his business, that I, I always knew I wanted more, <clears throat> excuse me, I wanted more, I wanted a better business, and I wanted a bigger business. And my reasons were simple, and they were just to get bigger so that in case something happened to me, my wife and children were taken care of. So, looking back... I can see how I should have definitely put somebody in. I mean, you almost got to start with the baby steps just to get going. But what I can tell you guys is take that money that you're making on the side jobs and put that money aside. Put it aside for advertising. Put it aside so that you can hire somebody and bring them on. And then bring them on as soon as, as, soon as you can afford to do it, okay? I, and one part, I don't wanna, want you guys to misunderstand. In the beginning, you're going to do everything you can on your own because you're putting 100% of that money into your pocket. And I understand that. But as you start to get bigger, you're going to realize you can make money off the backs of the guys that you have, okay? They're hired into place so that they make you money. So what it took me a long time to realize, I had, I had to distinguish between the two. And it was like, well, how can it be worthwhile to hire somebody else and give him half the money that's being made? Well, simple. Because while I'm working my job, He's making me money. He's making me money and I don't even have to be there. I can be working on advertising. When I get out of work tonight, I can go work on advertising. I can go put door hangers out. I can go grow my business. I can never do those things if I had to get out, get off of work, get in the truck with that guy and go to work, okay? So that being said, um, looking back, I definitely would have hired somebody sooner. I would have got him on as soon as I could. Pinch your pennies, save every dime you can, and put them on as quick as you can, okay? So, that's my advice. I hope that helps you guys out. Um, again, 
I know it's hard to deal with right off the bat because you're like, I'm making 100% of that money. But you're never going to get very big if you do that, you know. You're only going to get so big. So, anyway, that's been George Packard. I hope you guys have learned something. Family Lawn and Landscape, don't forget, all of our videos are archived on our websites. The links are down below. Please visit them. Thanks for watching.